Again, women in their numbers converged on Akura, the capital of Ondo State, to demonstrate their support for the candidacy of Governor Yaya Bello of Kogi State in the 2023 presidential election. The women defied the heavy rain this morning, taken to the streets. They were chanting solidarity songs and carrying various placards with inscriptions such as Yaya Bello, the best man for the job. We are not interested in zoning. This is one Nigeria, among others. They make women woman leader. There's only one position for women in our political parties, and that is the position of woman leader. When you consider that my mother was personally financing Nadeko, was personally financing the June 12 movement when my father was put in jail, was gone down because of our efforts, you have to ask yourself, and not just her, other women activists like Dr. Joe Oke Odumaki, who was in jail multiple times, even Stiliat Adedeji in Ibadan, who was killed, so many women paid the ultimate price for Nigeria's democracy. Why are the men excluding these women? And when, as they exclude the women, are they doing particularly well? Women have so much to contribute. And this is a man who, all his heads of service, since he has been in office for six years, have been women. The number of female National Assembly, Senate, and House of Rep members we want, this is the an era of negotiation with our men to give us our rights. This is the era that women want to take their destiny by their hands and uh, you know, fight for their rights. The men, the so-called men has failed us. Because the Ayabelo is giving women a platform. Like in the history of Nigeria, we've never heard that a woman is a DG of a campaign of a presidential team. That's a, a big one. And when you look at what he's doing in Kogi State, all I want is somebody who will give women a, a, a platform to exhibit all our visions because we have a lot to do to push this country forward than where it is now. Recently, it's because women fought to have the other three percent at the National Assembly. It was already scrapped. If not for the fact that the women actually got up and said, no, you, are, you, are, you want to strip us of our rights. They wouldn't have reversed it. So we need women in politics. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.